This is Duke University. So my adventure into uh, this field of research called behavioral economics or decision making uh, started many years ago when I got uh, burned in an explosion. And uh, following that, I spent about three years in, in hospital. And one of the worst things that happened in the burn department is the bandage removal process. You can imagine, if you think about the duration of the experience, that you try to shrink the duration but make the momentary intensity very painful. So you basically grab on the bandages and rip them very quickly. Or you can imagine trying to do everything very slowly but taking more hours. The question is which one of those were the best approach and the nurses had their version. They thought that the best way was to grab hold of the bandages and rip them quickly and then go another one and rip it and so on. Uh, and I felt I w they were wrong uh, but of course being a patient you know, uh, I didn't have much uh, control over it. So my first experiments were really on this area where I would bring people to the lab and I would hurt them in different durations and in different intensity intensities and I would ask them how painful it was, which one they will choose, and kept on doing this. Now, the interesting thing was that uh, my intuitions were correct and the nurses were wrong. And I started looking more broadly from pain to other things as well uh, that have these characteristics of being wrong despite having a lot of experience. And that's basically what I do today. One of the things I always wanted to do was to have fun experiments that are not just fun for me, but also fun for the participants. Uh, for example, uh, we've been starting to use beer as part of uh, what we're studying. And we gave them two samples of beer, beer A and beer B. They tasted it and we asked them, which one would you rather have a full glass of? One of them was Budweiser, and the second one was Budweiser with balsamic vinegar. When people did not know what they were tasting, they loved the one with balsamic vinegar. So balsamic vinegar made the beer heavier, tastier, and people liked it better. The second condition, people came, we gave them the same two cups, but we said, look, this is Budweiser, this is Budweiser with balsamic vinegar. Now they hated the one with balsamic vinegar. Here the idea is that knowing in advance something, expecting something, can actually change how you taste it. It's not just knowledge anymore. Knowledge influences perception. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu. So start pressing, and we're getting electrical shocks. And the electrical shocks will get higher and higher and higher. And the question is, who will, who will let go first? <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is a test. For example, <laughs> so now the question is, who cares more about this stupid task, basically? Oh, oh that was... <laughs> you can let go. <laughs> so what we hope to do is we hope to give this task to couples and see how they're trying to punish each other. <laughs> <laughs> okay.